Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope everybody had a safe and fun Halloween. As for me, we took our granddaughter out. It was the highlight of our evening because um, all our kids are grown up. So we did enjoy that. Anyways, today I would like to review the MAC Gold Snowball Eye Compact in Rose Gold. So I take it out, it looks like that like a foil gold silver. I'm reading rose gold. This is like a foiled silver. It's a snowball, snowball eye compact, rose gold. Eyeshadow times six. It is 1.32 grams, 0.4 ounces each. So you get a brush inside, which I just took it out because I didn't use it. But when I saw this, I, the rose gold in the middle and the silver caught my eye. And I thought, you know, for $29, this is probably not going to be all that great. But I'll give it a try. If I don't like it, I'll return it back to MAC because a lot of their holidays can be hit and miss. Especially when they come in the, uh, the mini versions and so on. Um, but this year they have hit a home run. I mean, I am in love with the highlights, uh, all of the eyeshadows. So I wanted to give you guys a review on this because it's a great deal for $29. They also have a gold one. This is rose gold with silver. And then they have a gold one, which I did not get. So this is what I'm wearing. I use every color. And um, I want to swatch it. I'll swatch it dry, which will be fairly quick. There are no names. So we're going to do these two right here. And then these are the like shimmery glitter. And um, they went on fine without spraying. And this is just one swatch. But I did spray just to get a little more color payoff, which I didn't need to. It's beautiful. This shade right here is kind of like a satin sheen finish. Very, very pretty. Show you that one. It's on look. Look at that. It's beautiful. And then here is your just regular dark deep brown, which I did use. Um, just kind of in the crease here and they blended well they blended very well here are the swatches they are absolutely gorgeous I would totally recommend them so it's for this palette I 100% recommend it I don't think there's anything there that I didn't like um, but again, I did not buy the mini sets of the glitter or pigment and all that because I just, I buy them and I don't use them. So I didn't waste my money on that this year. I bought the singles and then I bought this one palette and this, I am just shocked. I couldn't believe how easily it blended. And I think the rose just looks phenomenal. I'm just, I love it. It was great. I thought this was going to go back. But I think it is a great um, palette. And then today I am wearing L Bell on my lips. Which is like a purplish, deep purplish red. I love the color. It's so gorgeous. So I'm just going to reapply a little bit. Because it is a... Um, Sheen, I think. But that's good because if your lips are dry like mine have been, then, you know, you need to get like a sheen going for a while. I'm going to go back to your mat. So I had ordered my henna for my hair, um, which I do have a video of me doing my hair with the henna. And I usually do about three breaks because I just do touch up now. And along with that, they had Christmas and Halloween stuff. So I ordered this. This is a um, 
This is, it is the Snow Fairy Sparkle Jar. So I expect this to be full of the powder, but the bag is like loaded. It smells so good, like, like bubble gum scent. So you just take a little bit, which I already did, and you just rub it on. It gives you a light sparkle. Kind of see it all over there. I'll do a little bit. I just don't want to pour out too much because I didn't expect the bag to be full of it. So, whoa. Yeah, there it comes. You just rub it together and you can put it here. And you rub it in. It smells so good. Anyways, that was only $9.95 and this will last me definitely for the whole season. And then I believe you can break this star up and use that as well. So you can use the whole thing, which is great. I do not buy the bubble bars or whatever that you use in the bathtub because I don't take baths. I take showers. I don't know what it is, but I don't like soaking in a bath. I just don't. Even if I shower after to cleanse myself, I just, I don't know. It's just me. And then I ordered, this is the Black Rose Solid Lip Scrub. It's super cute. And it smells like, um, ooh, smells so good. I'm trying to think of the name. Ingredients, and it, whoa, that goes on. Murmur, and then there's... It smells like, uh, geez, I wish I could think of the name of it, but it's got that, uh, it's from Halloween, and it's got that, uh, it's right on the tip of my tongue, and I can't think of it. See, it's a cute little bar to scrub your lips with. Um, oh, it just went off on my fingers. Ooh, I can't think of the name of it, but I hope you guys know what I mean. <laughs> I don't know, but... It smells really, really good. Love a good lip scrub that I ordered. This was different. This is Shades of Gold, which reminded me of the MAC. Um, frankincense and myrrh. And this is for your lip. Whoa, just flew out. So you can rub it on your lip by itself, or you can use it on top of lip colors. So I'm gonna take some of the gold and it says you can use a brush or whatever. And I'm just gonna see how it goes. Not sure what to expect here. I think I need to rub it a little bit more. I'm afraid if I rub the bar on my lipstick, it'll just rub my lipstick off. Ah, I see gold now. Ooh. Can you see the gold? And it's staining the um, the brick, but I don't think that matters. Hmm. Let's see what happens if I rub it on there. Oh, wow. That is super cool. Ooh. I like that. Made it sparkle. That is really cool. So there's three different areas. You have the gold, and then you have like the bronze, and this is like a green with uh, sparkle in it. You can use it alone, or you can use it on top of lipsticks. I'm not gonna carry this in my purse, so when I go to reapply my lipstick. I wonder if it will, like hints of it will be on there. Anyway, I think that is beautiful. I'm a little surprised. I didn't think I was gonna like it. And I do. I've never used anything like that before. And my Lime Crime toppers, but nothing like a little brick. And the last thing I got was this. This is a Snow Fairy Cold Press Soap. So I will use their soap. I will not use their bath bombs because I don't take a bath. I like to shower, feel clean, and I have a jacuzzi. So if I want to relax, I use that when I want to get immersed in water. 
So anyways, that is it. I believe I'm looking at my, yeah, that's it. So if anyone is interested in my henna hair touch up, let me know I can refilm or you can go back to when I film um, because it is a process. I probably won't do it this weekend because we have a baby shower. So I don't know when I'm going to get to it. But I have it. That's, you know, great. Anyways, you guys, if if you can, I know the singles have been sold out of the Max Snowball collection. But if you find them, I grab them. If you don't, these palettes are absolutely, totally worth it. By the way, Whisper of Guilt comes out tomorrow at Macy's Only. I don't know if they're still doing pre-orders, but I pre-ordered mine um, because it's absolutely gorgeous with the snowflake and printed on it and all that. And it comes with a brush and a bag. So just, you know, information if you did not know. So I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you enjoyed this video and subscribe like my channel and i'm going to do a my october favorites i have a lot of them so i gotta break them down um so i'll go october favorites eyeshadow palettes highlighters lipsticks you know categories it, you know i'll break it down and it won't be forever you know but i gotta get them together and really go through uh what i want to film like i said i have a lot but i want you guys to know the top number one favorites so you guys have a great day and I will see you again soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.